this. He rode easy in the saddle. He was tall and lean. At first you thought nothing but a streak of mean can make a man look so downright strong. One look at his eyes and you know you was wrong. He was a mountain of a man, I want you to know. He could preach hot hell or freezing snow. Carried a Bible in a canvas sack. The folks just called him the Reverend Mr. Black. He was poor as a beggar, but he rode like a king. Sometimes in the evening I could hear him sing. Hey, you got to walk that lonesome valley. You got to walk it by yourself But nobody else can walk it for you You got to walk it by yourself If ever I could have thought this man in black was soft Had it yellow up his back I gave that notion up the day a lumberjack came in it wasn't to pray. Where's my lumber? Yeah, he kicked open the meat in the house door. Then he cussed everybody up and down the floor. And then when things got quiet in the place, he walked up and cussed in the preacher's face. <laughs> he hit that reverend like the kick of a mule. To my way of thinking, took a pure fool to turn the other cheek to that lumberjack. That's what he did, the reverend Mr. Black. He stood like a rock, man among men. Then he let that lumberjack hit him again, and then with a voice as kind as could be, he cut him down like a big oak tree. When he said, hey, you got to walk that lonesome valley. Two more. You got to walk it by yourself. It's been many years since we had to part. Guess I learned his ways by heart. I can still hear his sermons ring down in the valley where he used to sing. I followed him, and I don't regret it. Hope I'll always be a credit to his memory. Cause I want you to understand the Reverend Mr. Black was my old man. Hey, hey you got to and lonesome valley you got to walk it by yourself but nobody else can walk it for you you got to walk it by yourself you got to walk that you got to walk that lonesome We'll be right back.